Are we live? Welcome to the Cash Money Dreams podcast. What's good, man? Shout out to everybody, man. My message is going crazy right now. I just want to do a, a real quick uh, shout out to um, the whole family and everything. Um, everything's good in the music. We're doing so many different things. A lot of new records coming. It's a lot of work, man. When you got to do all the mixing and mastering and engineering. Yeah, I got to check that. Let me make sure something real quick. Give me a second. Let me make sure mine is right. I think I'm good on mine's. Can you push uh, hit denied on your end? All right, cool. All right. So, what we got going on today? Let's I take mean, a look. We got a lot of shit going on, man. I guess we're going to be looking at uh, the fuckery going on in the world, but um, the world's changing, like I said. I mean, the Cash Money Dream podcast, we we talk about some crazy shit. And I mean, we just get into the ideas and the mindset of how I think majority of men see the world and how we think compared to the other side of the people who, who see it differently, where they think they have all the advantages and freedom. They think they, think they can do anything they want to do and have no consequences. I mean, we also talk about getting money positions of um how to live your life and 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 to 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 make things happen when it seems um impossible and and the dreams come in from you know what I mean always believing in something and and going after your dreams so yeah we're going to have a lot of uh uh platforms set up going over things like that in the near future depending Shout on out. if you're watching this video uh check all our links in the description yeah, man, like and subscribe, man. Seriously, like and subscribe. Shout out to all the people, man. I, I love going into a position where we go live and we put out uh, dope, dope um, um, material. And I got people always messaging me, always showing love because people know me personally. You know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I'm that cool guy. I'm not, I'm not that guy who's in the cut. I'm not trying to be, you know what I'm saying, all in the videos and shit like that. <laughs> like Diddy. You know what I mean? Nah. Shout out to Diddy. But, you know what I mean? Come and collect. I think I think that's the best way to be when you when you live in this 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 world. But let's let's get to the business, man. This is what we came here for, man. Let's get to the business. Let's see what's going on in the world. Uh I say just put it on the screen. Let's see what's popping. Yeah, let's let's start here. Let me get my uh let me share the screen here. We're going to go over uh first one. Looks like a game. I don't know if this is a high school game. I think it is a high school basketball game. Where do I find it? Let me see. It's the um I think it was from yesterday. Yeah, it was from yesterday. It's right here at the at the top. So Here it is right oh, yeah, now. Yeah, okay. I'm pulling it up. Okay. So Okay. I mean, we could play. We could play the sound. Hold on, we could play the sound. Copyright. We'll cut this out. So obviously, they're trying to get him to miss the free throw. This is obviously <laughs> the home team's cheerleader squad. Good lord! And uh, it worked, I guess. I don't know if he's a good free throw shooter or not, but it worked. Did we just like that? Unlike that back. Hold on. Um, all right. Let me cut this sound out. I will tell you, um, Jesus. I mean, these people look very, very young. I've never seen anything like that before. <laughs> <laughs> this is high school. Hopefully, they were all eight. Man, these, no, this high bro. school is going to be no, well, some hot water. Not really, because this is not in America. It wouldn't happen. Where is it? I mean, this has to be somewhere in the Asia. It has to be somewhere in the Asian country, and that's shocking. 
That that means that means the West is it means the West is spreading the disease of of yeah, traditional this is Asia. I mean everybody's Asia, Yeah, yeah. So. so so I mean the 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 idea of um respect for yourself is 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 basically thrown out of the window. And I mean it's it's crazy. Now, if, if each one of these girls was getting like ten thousand dollars to do this shit, is it acceptable? No, but they getting uh, enough money for them to do something this stupid, right? But these girls ain't. They, look at this girl. Her legs is spread wide open. Yeah, this for a man to miss a free throw, hey, it worked. They made they made it won the game by one point. I mean, was, shit. Was if this working. was going on in the NBA, man, good lord. I mean, I I I I don't think I don't think Stephen Curry would be able to make a free throw. Well, somebody says Shaq would definitely miss it if this was going on. <laughs> if he was with, missing it without this going on back then. Oh man, that's hilarious. It looks like it's in China. Somebody said nice material, China. I think I think you get money. I'm going to say this again. I'm going to bring that right there. I think you get money when you do shit like this. I think women, some, not all, because if you're going to do this kind of stupidity, you're already putting yourself in a position where men are already going to look at you as like a 304 or somebody just, uh, somebody just to fuck with to pass around anyway, right? So... It's just crazy. You see that shit going on in Asia. It makes you think like maybe the West is 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 their mindset is spreading all over the world and people are starting to think they can do whatever the fuck they want with no consequence and and that's dangerous. Think about that, man. I don't know. I, I don't. I haven't seen this in the West, though. That's what's weird about it. They're they're taking it to another level. That's what I'm, bro. It's happening in the West for sure, but it's I, not. It's yeah, not publicly. It's There's not. A high school of course, of course, that it's happening, but it's not happening on a platform because uh, sports Maybe during practice. Exactly, it's happening. America has a lot of thoughts doing stupid shit like this on a daily. That's let me trust Belongs you. To the streets. It's a lot of women out here that 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 are putting themselves out there where they're they're competing with men and women towards being in control of what they want to be in control of. They don't want a man telling them when it comes to anything what to do. They be like, nigga, get the fuck out of here. I'm a grown-ass woman. Bruh. Right? And then she's looking for that, that, that guy that's going to, you know what I mean, position her to have some type of power but at the same time, she's competing with someone who's maybe five, six years under her. So she's competing with the niggas, she's competing with the young girl, and she's competing with herself. These type of women, man, it, it's dangerous. Stop it. Get some help. Please get some fucking help. Like, like have this is called daddy issues or mommy issues or both. That's 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 crazy. If I can imagine someone who's a mother and she's probably 32, 34 years old, maybe 40, and her 16-year-old child is out here spreading her legs open with her underwear showing for someone to miss a free throw. That's mind-blowing. Would would you accept that? Would you? Would you really accept that as a mother to let your child do that? Depends. Some mothers belong to the streets too, so they probably would. But uh, somebody asked, "If you make it, does that mean you're gay?" <laughs> what the fuck? What does that has to do with this? Well, because that means he wasn't distracted enough by the female, <laughs> and he made the shot anyway. He didn't care. Yo, but he was this man maybe because he missed. He was obviously, uh, you know, watching. <laughs> Got him. Uh, yo. Yeah, that was funny. Um, I don't know. That's that. I I think for me looking at that, if I was going up to sh to shoot a free throw and I seen that shit, for me I feel disgusted. I don't want to see that shit. 
Bruh. Like, come on, man. You, you you think men really want to see this shit? Like, you think men. Yes, but I don't know if they want to see it at the free throw line. No, nah, man. Come on, man. Fuck that. I, I want to see that shit in a strip Stop club. Stop the cap. I don't want to see that shit. I don't want to see that shit. Um, you know what I mean? I don't want to see that shit when you, when you working out in the gym or you at a movie theater. I don't want to see that shit. I mean, I don't. I want to see that shit if I'm in a mall. What the fuck? I I see that shit in the strip club. Do not do that shit in the library. Don't do it in the museums. Don't do it like nobody want to see that shit. That's why you have strip clubs. These women looking like strippers, and and where they mamas and where they daddies. That's crazy. That that that's crazy. Where are your fucking parents? I mean, that's they're in the stands. I don't. <laughs> that, Nah, man, come on. Where's that shit? Stop the cap, man. Stop the cap. For real. Stop that shit, man. What's next, man? This is some fuckery. Yeah, the next one is... uh. Shout out to everybody sending me my message, man. I'm telling you. I see you. Let me see something real quick. Let's see. So, everybody hitting me. We had another one here. Uh, oh, wow. We were tagged in. Shout out to Rachel. Very, very beautiful. Let's hear this. I had two guys call in. They work at DNA testing centers. One guy had to quit. One guy still works there. He told me 40% of the children are not the man's child. 40%. 40%. He said 40%. Somebody cool, and Lori. It's well, usually, make DNA testing it's, it, and it's two, mandatory. It's two scenarios. It's where the woman, they, the person's getting a DNA test because the woman claims that is their child. Turns out it's not. The other one is where the parent is on the deathbed and makes a confession. Oh, or God. they need a health, they need a liver transplant, blood transfusion, and the blood type, there's no way that that can actually be the father. So then they find out because of medical reasons, you mean that's not my father? Then the father finds out from that way. He said it took such a toll on him that he could no longer do it because he would be sitting on the phone counseling the men and the grown children who these women falsely accuse. We see it on more. We see it on paternity court. But yet we say men need to be held accountable. Yeah, I mean, this is a a very high number. Um, 40%. You would think maybe ten percent at the most. Worst case scenario, forty percent is crazy. I don't. I don't think it's high because that's high. I don't think it's high. You know why? It's not normal. It is very normal because it tells you that forty percent of women that are fucking are fucking so random, and so many men that they don't even know who the father of their child is. And the problem is this: is when you're nineteen years old. And you thinking it's okay to fuck four or five men in a rotation for your amusement where you can take advantage of all of them, right? She got one that's cooking or cleaning for her. She got one that's just fucking her for like just because he got good D. She got another one who pays her bills and she got another one who's just like a friend. She just, she, 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 she has that emotional connection where she doesn't even like him, but she keeps him in the friend zone. Eventually, this dude wins in the future, the biggest simp of them all. But the issue is she's fucking five dudes, four dudes randomly. Bruh. And and she get pregnant. Sometimes that happens. And she don't know which one is the guy. She belongs to the streets. So what she do? She's going to pick the best father that she thinks is going to be the best ability, the, the best one who's gonna be there, the guy who's gonna take and say, I I, I take it. You know what I mean I I take care of the child. And well, she seems like he's take he's a lot of them are doing it without knowing it. But it's that's the but child. but that's the problem. That's but see she knows that he's not the father. Most of these women Sometimes going she doesn't even know bro, that's how bad it but is. That's 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 true. She but let's let's one is the father. That's true. But a woman's going to sit there and she's going to best her odds by picking the best guy. If you're fucking five guys or four guys in the same rotation, she's going to look at the guy once she knows she's pregnant. I need to go with this guy because he has the house. He has the Ashton Martin, the Maserati. He has the the, 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 the the Lamborghini truck. 
and he has uh, at least a, a half a million dollar house or a, a $1.5 million house, I can't date the guy that got the $80,000 car. So he might be the father, but she's going to go for the guy who has the best resources, and she's going to knock on his door and say, I'm pregnant. And that's where it gets fucked up. Like, and you know, if a guy's a good guy and he likes her, he's going to say, okay, I accept. Let's figure this out. The problem is, is when that child is born, two things happen. They can't tell the child looks like him. Or that nigga know that's not his kid. Well, sometimes she has a similar taste in men. So all that's the men she's with look similar. So you, you could fall for believing it's yours. That's what I'm saying. So it, it, it's either, you know, side dude looks kind of either, like either you. you be like, cause people do this shit all the time. Oh, uh, you, it, it looks like you shut the fuck up. <laughs> they be like, they be telling, they be telling niggas, Hey, it looks just like you. And the nigga in his head is like, I don't know. He questioning it. He questioning it. Sometimes a man knows when it's his child. You can tell by the nose, the eyebrows, the forehead, the lips. You can yeah, tell you by yourself. I, mean, I mean, sometimes you can. So I'm not, all I'm saying is this. If you got 40% of the men that women are having babies and they don't know who the father is, that tells you how bad it is when it comes to women and, and, and not being accountable for spreading their cheeks wide open for a whole bunch of men that don't give two shits about you. That's dangerous. You know how dangerous that is because what you're doing is you're setting yourself up for failure. You're you getting stupid. You're getting with guys who just busting your cheeks wide open with no commitment. And you passing up good men because you don't want to sit there and, and, and deal with a guy that you're not really interested in. What do I mean by that? He might not be six foot two. He might make thirty thousand dollar less than the other guy. You're 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 miscalculating yourself into a position where you're ending up where your 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 body count is just getting bigger and bigger, and the man quality is getting worse and worse. He belongs to the streets. Can you imagine if it was a law to have a DNA test when a child is born or during the pregnancy? I, I think truthfully, if that happened, and it will happen one day, it has to. They don't have to, right? But the government will never do it right now because they're making trillions of dollars uh, destroying the nuclear family. And people will be like, what do you mean? Well, why is the government involved into marriages anyway? Why are the government involved into divorces? It's none of their damn business. But somehow they get a profit and a percent from from lawyers who taxing lawyers and taxing the system because you're using the court system, right? So they get a percent. Same thing in child support, right? And 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 social security. So they control a lot of how relationships are 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 uh programmed. And and the problem is is if you're making trillions of dollars off of breaking up families, that's crazy. So you know Women, women are not happy right now. Women, women, most women are miserable in relationships because you have society of women because so many women are so much more empowered than ever that they're they're looking at it like I don't need a man for shit. Fuck a man. You got women that saying men should die. Like men are not, we don't need them. But they don't realize how how much freedom they have because of a man. If men disappear, you'll be fucked. Stop it. Get some help. You'll be fucked. You, you, you couldn't survive without the protection of a man. Men give security and protection. It's the most important thing I think a man has to do. You don't want a man who get his ass beat every day. You want a guy that you feel comfortable with, that you know that security and protection it's so important. And 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 listen, if a man is not bringing you that, then you need to fucking get the hell out of that relationship or that friendship, where the fuck you in. But it, it's very important. Ain't nobody got time for that. Seriously. I think people need to stop trying to manufacture their own reality 
and just accept reality as it is. Obviously, a man is needed. A woman is also needed. But that's the reason we're both here. You can't just manufacture your own reality and and, and have have certain things and not have other things and think that it's going to go smoothly. The reason it's designed this way is because this is the way it goes smoothly. I agree. I agree with that. Going against nature rarely works. But that's what makes us who we are, right? We 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 want to go against God. We want to go against nature. We want to go against we want to go against Mother Nature. We want to we want to we want to be different. America is different. I, I would say it's scary right now for a lot of people when it comes to investing, when it comes to families, when it comes to buying. Or, or creating is scary. You have a lot of men right now who don't even want to commit no more to a marriage or a relationship. They rather just make money, build themselves an empire, and then just date young girls who's more influenced by money and material things. Yeah, I mean, that stuff, that can make for a good life and a fun life, but eventually you get old enough where it's like, now what? I don't think men care no more. I I, I truly no, they don't. That's the problem. I, I don't think men care no more. I think men have got men have been disrespected for so long that men have now no longer want to deal with this fuckery that's going on in the West, or where it seems like now it's spreading all over the world. But men are like fuck this. Like if if, if I'm not I'm not getting what what traditional should be. So I'm no longer being traditional. I'm not opening your fucking door. Fuck that. I'm not I'm not buying you flowers. Because the guy who buys the girls the flower, he's considered a simp and he's the soft one. And the problem is is girls don't like soft men. That's why the guys who are nice, they get they get treated like shit. And the guys who treat women like shit get treated like like kings. Women like to be treated badly. Some women can say, "No, I don't." You listen, you go in it into the relationship getting treated badly, making yourself think that's attractive. But then once you're in the relationship, it becomes more dangerous because you think you can change his aggression, but you cannot. You can't you can't have a bad boy and think once he once you're in the relationship, he's gonna be good. A bad boy is a bad boy. You ain't changing no bad boy to a good boy. It don't work that way. You know I mean, you get a man as he is. If he a gangster, he's a gangster. Is he? It, I mean, it, 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 it's just it is what it is. Stop, stop going for the guys that's not good for you. Stop going for the guys that that's bad for you, and then you can save yourself maybe a decade and have a good relationship and a good marriage, so you don't have to be thirty four, thirty five out here in the streets, still not married, desperate for a husband. Going to clubs at 37, a man could be in a club at 50. A woman should only be in the club with her man if she passed like 35, 30, 38. Come on, man, you should not be in the club. You're 38 in the nightclub. Yes, you look good. You're very, very beautiful. You're sexy. But why are you in the club with 22-year-old, 23-year-olds? What the fuck are you doing with, like, it doesn't make sense. They, they're not growing out of it. They're not wanting to grow up and... It doesn't make sense. So what you going to do? You going to meet some NBA ball player, football player, baseball player, NASCAR driver, comedian, somebody who's a rapper maybe 25, 27 years old who's probably a multimillionaire and he's going to like you because I mean, you sexy as hell, right? And you much older, so he's going to take you for the experience. That's what he's going to fuck you for. He's not going to fuck you because he wants to commit to you. He's going to fuck you for the experience. He's going to look like, damn, she still looked that good. Damn, look at that ass. Damn, she still got that body and she 37. Damn, that shit, she must have some, 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 some work. He's going to fuck you for the experience. He ain't going to fuck you to keep you. He's going to go back to that 26-year-old, 25-year-old. Because that's much easier for him to 
work with, that's more easier for him to say she has less bodies. She has less damage compared to that 37-year-old who's seen a lot of demons. I mean, this woman's seen a lot of demons. She's seen a lot of bodies. And them type of women, I mean, they definitely belong to the street. You know what I mean? And some people will say this. They will say this. They will say this is some fucking bullshit. But it's true. I I can't I when I when I was 27, 28 and I, I, I messed with women that was much older than me, I only dealt with them because of the experience. I never intended to be in a long time relationship. And I'll tell you this right now, truthfully. When I was real young, I met a I met a woman and she was beautiful. I mean gorgeous. And she had a kid. She he was like 16 years old. I'm like probably 23, 24 years old at the time. And she had to be like 38, 37. Nah, she was like 38, 39. But she was beautiful. Like like, she looked like she was 24, 25 years old, but in reality, she wasn't. She was about one year from 40. And and I had to make a decision. Like, when I got serious with her, I started realizing I really like her. And I was just felt like she was just too old. I had a dream. You know what I mean? I had a fucked up dream. You stupid. Yes, I was. You stupid. I was beyond stupid. I had this dream that I was 40 and she was 60 something years old and she was wrinkled. She doesn't didn't look the same. And I said to myself, I cannot be in this type of relationship where I'm dating a woman that looked like a goddamn skeleton. So I woke up and I broke up with that chick immediately. Woke up and I broke up with that chick instantly. And I tell you this right now, it was it 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 it, it was fucked up because I really liked her, and I I did <laughs> I dated younger. I went from that woman to a younger woman that was fucking crazy as hell. It was even worse. The other girl was much better. But the age gap scared me so much for me being young that I, I was just afraid that she would get too old for me. So, I, you know what I mean? But years later, like probably five years later after that, just to get out of this story real quick, me and her had a sit down because I seen her sister. And, and she just, she told me like some crazy shit. Like she told me how much... I broke her heart, how much she was in love with me, how much um, she was devastated. Like, she didn't talk to a man for, like, two, three years after me. Like, it took a long time for her to find love again. It took her a long time for her to find trust. She felt like I was her soulmate, and for me to walk away from her, because I told her, I told her, I was like, look, I just, I just think we just, like, it's an age gap, and I, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's going to work just because of that. I truly like you, but I just don't think it's going to work. I'm sorry. I hope you find your happiness. And I ended the relationship. I thought I ended it correctly. Obviously, she was devastated. So what I'm saying is women just got to be very careful when you when you get into a relationship, knowing what you're getting into, you can't be in your forties or your 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 mid thirties trying to date young twenty five year olds. It's not gonna work. Do you think that uh, it, it's similar for women or no? No, Where a woman is with an older guy. No, she look at it that way too. I don't want to date a skeleton. No, and if a woman's dating a man that's much younger, she's in a position of power because men who have money and power will not date older. It's not ever going to happen. No, I mean, if she's the younger one and the man is the older one. That's you better. You think a woman feels the way you did about this one where the other 
your spouse or your boyfriend or girlfriend is that much older than you where you don't want to be with a skeleton in 20 years. So let's say you got a 20-year-old woman and a 40-year-old man. Is she going to look at it when I'm 40, he's 60? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? The same dream. Some some women, let me tell you something. Some women, yes. Some women will look at it that way. But let me let me let me tell you something. Women, if you're 24, 25, you're crazy if you're dating someone 27, 28, 29. You're wasting your time. You must date a man 10 years older than you. There's no way in hell a 35-year-old is competing with a 25-year-old unless he's some type of celebrity or he's that athlete. That's like 1%, 2% of men, okay? So that's not going to happen. You know, that happens once in a million, okay? And what that means is, you know what I mean? You, 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 the guy you got to date, you know what I'm saying? Think about that. You know what I mean? So it's it's crazy. So it's a it's a benefit for a woman to have an older man because they're more, you know, set up properly in life. The man you gonna the you're gonna guy. make more listen, you're gonna be, if a woman's twenty five dating a thirty five year old, she's just gonna be better off. He's going to teach you much more than a 25-year-old your age. It's not going to happen. You must be somebody big or is in a status for a woman to have security. She must date older. So a woman ain't going to look at a man who's, when she's 25 and he's 45, she's not giving a fuck. If this dude's got a yacht, a house, a future, that's her legacy. He's, he's looking at her like it's a legacy. She's looking at him like, I'm secure for fucking life. Fuck y'all. You crazy. If you got if you 25, 30 and you got a chance to land a multi-millionaire and he's willing to build a legacy with you, you better snap that shit up quickly because you benefit. Your children benefit. You can't be out here thinking, I'm gonna go date somebody who my age. 20-year-old niggas ain't got it. They still figuring shit out. It, it this is why men don't mature to like, like in their 40s or their 50s. It takes us much more time for us to mature into getting to the bag and to the money. We just don't get to the money like that. There's only a, 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 a few men in this world that can get to the bag. That's why they call them 10%, 6%, 3%, 1%. 1%. Everybody else is fucked. Yeah, I was watching a video one time where there was actually somebody who studies this for a living. Yeah. And he stated that, yeah, it's... um men don't really hit their stride in life until they're 37 on average once you're 37 that's when you start hitting your stride as a man so yeah 20s pretty much all gone or even most of your 30s except for the last couple of years. that that money sign is for people when they're in their 40s let me do it again when they're in their 50s most men ain't most men are not where they need to be into that age group you got to understand, that's why you, in your 20s, if you're a woman, you crazy if you're dating someone in their 20s. Why you think men are committing all these crimes? They're not getting enough women. They don't have they don't have the affection of women in their 20s. A man ain't a man because he don't have nothing yet. These women are looking for men with resources. They're looking for men that can at least bring some type of provision or some, some type of security. You got to give a woman that. If you can't give a woman that, boy, you in trouble. You in trouble, man. You in trouble. Where my, where my shit at? You stupid. You a stupid nigga, man. Hey, 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 listen. You stupid. You a stupid boy. You can't be in your... That's why in your 20s, you must learn how to hustle. You must learn how to get a hustle. You must have multiple different hustles to get money. Me and him... We argue all the time. Building this business was an argument. He pushed me every day. We just had an argument before the cameras got on. But we here. We're working. I got to get shit done. Musically, I got to get shit done. I got to do music. I got to do this. Right? So I got to work. And pushing this shit out. Shout out. Thank you. Pushing this shit out is not easy. 
but we got to get to the work so we can get to the bag. Women appreciate men that hustle, men, men that got work. You know what I'm saying? That's what they appreciate. Life, life is built by what you do with it. You know what I mean? Uh, so, do I, men appreciate the same thing in women? Women that get to the bag and hustle? I don't, I, I don't think, I don't, listen, I think it, it depends. Every man is different. But if a man is chasing a woman only because she got a bag, He's he's he he's a he's a he's a he's a bitch. Come on, you don't you don't go after a woman because she's more secure than you. That's some that's some fuckboy shit. Like like at least at least match up. But the problem is is men who have to match up to women, it it, it tends to be more of the woman controlling the relationship. And when a woman's in control and, and she's the head, it doesn't tend to work out. Denied. You know what I mean? The man is, is is a puppet. We see it in relationships. You see it in celebrities' relationships. You see it in, in your friendships, relationship, family relationships. It's the fuckery. And and this is why it's a lot of soft men out there. This is why it's a lot of men who are not good leaders. These are also the men that that like commit a lot of crimes and do a lot of uh, uh, violence against women. These are also the type of men that are the ones shooting up and doing stupid shit when it comes to killing people or when it comes to attacking women because they're walking by themselves, enjoying life by themselves, being young by themselves, and they're being murdered by these type of men. Men with value, men with respect, do not act like this. Men do not go after women. We don't have to. When you when you a guy and you have value and you 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 have resources and you're working your ass off, it's gonna bring you into a position where you're gonna have options. Women are gonna recognize you. You just don't pull out a McLaren and and and, and you can't get a date. It's impossible. You can't just pull up in a Bentley and nobody not recognize you. They see the work. Jewelry, women look at certain things, but it don't always mean that's the best guy for you. It doesn't. But when it, when a man look like he has resources and he's young, women want to know what that man does and what he and they're going to go after that. Right? So I I I would I would tell I would tell I would tell people, yeah, you know I mean that the reality is, it's it's a it's dangerous for men and women. Period. I don't even know how you want to play this. Let's go ahead and uh, move on to our our final video here. So, let's go ahead and pull this up. This is uh, different. I have not seen this before either. So we got. Oh, is that see through or is that open? Man, it's like oh, a. That's uh, see through. Is this is a billboard a for the strip club. This is brilliant. That's dangerous though. Or a big no, no, one, 15 open, passenger no, van. That's a distraction. If I'm driving, oh. I'm going to crack. What a strip oh, club built that stuff. Is that a window? I can't tell. Is that a window? Or are they just out in the open? No, yeah, it is. It's a window. It's like a glass there. I mean, that's that would have been kind of dangerous if it wasn't. You you cut the volume off. Yeah, this is a whole new way of promoting. Usually, you'll see a wrap on the van. And it'll be parked somewhere or driving on free. They don't even have any logos or any information on them. I, I don't know. I mean, it, this is as bad as the uh, the basketball game, um, as as the women was basically showing everything. Well, where is the? I'm I'm wondering, is there even any ad on it? Because what if this advertisement worked and somebody did want to come to your club? Where are they going to go? It doesn't tell them. Are they supposed to just follow you until you get back? I don't. I mean, who cares? This is crazy. I don't know. Nobody cares. The point of it is, is she's right. 
this shit is very dangerous because somebody can really die out there and these women are just doing all this fuckery <laughs> just for attention and validation of of men who don't give two shits about you that 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 type of shit is just crazy that i mean i i think i think when women will will rather do shit for a job like a boss and and where you can easily get fired and and you know that's not really security even though it pays you then go home and and provide a certain service to your men but you rather be respectful and do shit for the boss who pays you but not to the the man who gives you security and protection stop it get some help i think it's it's crazy because women that act like this is just they they're 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 lost and they will probably never be found i mean i don't think a lot of women do this i don't think a lot of women will put themselves out there like that where they will be in a van with their butt cheeks hanging out going 60 miles an hour or uh. would, or would they want their daughters to do this from um ages 18 to like 24 cuz a lot of 18 year olds this is when they start getting into the the nightlife and some start earlier so you, you know the world is changing it's becoming more dangerous for women and it's becoming more dangerous for men Yeah, world's constantly changing. So let's go ahead and uh, and see if if there's anything else we have for today. I don't believe so, but I think we got one more video. Let's see if I can find it. Let me look also. Okay, so oh yeah, we do. What do we have? Got about this one. Let me see my messages real quick. So this is about a uh, a fair exchange. Mm-hmm. Here it is. I can take you on a date. Oh, you can take me on a yeah. date. And you paying? Yeah. I like that. Where you wanna go? It don't even matter. Yeah, as long as I go shopping afterwards. What you mean? I took you to eat. You take me shopping. Why would I do that though? I took you out to eat. I don't see a problem with it. So you think just because you take me to go get some food that I'm I'm obligated to take you shopping? Yeah. Just how like y'all feel obligated to take us to get food and I'm looking to get some pussy. So trade for a trade. No, nah, that's not a trade though. Come on. What you mean come on? I'm not taking you shopping. Okay, well, let's go eat. I'm good on that though. You want something in return from you taking me out to eat. You Equal eat, trade. I shop. I don't see the problem. That's not happening with me and you. So clearly you got money, so I don't see the problem. That's with my shopping. money that I work for. We can make shit. it our money. But we definitely not about to do that. You're not my girl. You're not my wife. Ain't no hour or nothing. We're going to get to that. No, we're not getting to nothing. What we about to do is get you out of my car because you a gold digger. How about that? And let's see who going to feed you now. Feed myself. She thought she was going to finesse me. He said, let's see who's going to feed you now. Like, he can't get a <laughs> lunch with that car. <laughs> he said. So she just wanted a fair exchange. She she wanted some shopping done for her or paid for by him if she buys him lunch. That's fair, right? No, nah, it's not. But you got to understand this, man. You got to understand that women think like this now. And it's the problem is that woman was very young. She was not 30. She was nowhere near 30. She had to been like 23, 24. And these are the type of women are operating like they 37, but they 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 think they have time to to find a husband. They 23, 24 thinking, oh shit, I don't got any. You know what I mean? Men looking for me. I don't I don't need a man right now. I'm going to fuck this one, fuck that one, because these guys, they do things that other men don't do for me. They fly me here. They take me around the world. But she's not, she's not, like, 
she's not getting that guy. That guy, he's looking at her like, I'm, this is this is good. This is good. I like having sex with her. She's nice. She's beautiful. I like showboating her around. But I would never take her seriously. I I, I hope she knows this is just for the uh, joy ride. You know, I like cars, but I like them with low miles. I don't want them with a lot of miles on them. But she doesn't know that. Right? She was trying to negotiate a business transaction with him. But that's the shit. These are the type of women that can do that. They Because they think they, they tend. They think they tend so they can negotiate and tell a guy that, hey, for my for my affection and my my body, for my 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 time, you must contribute a hundred thousand dollars a month. You must you must contribute twenty thousand dollars a month. You must contribute ten thousand dollars a month. You'll get females who will take a thousand dollars a month for you to get their time and their energy. And what happens is they're no longer women. They're a business. Yeah, it seems like nobody's told her no before. Because she don't have to be told no. She has a whole bunch of simps that's doing it. I mean, he did. He just told her no. He said no because he has value. He's not stupid. You ain't going to tell a man who puts up a $400,000 car and tell that man what he will and what he won't do. Guys who got money like that, they sitting on at least $10 million plus. Some are, some some less, five million. You're not, but women don't understand. You just can't attach your name to certain men because they got money. You must work and compete to get these type of men. And if you compete and you're good at it and you win, you're gonna achieve something that most women don't don't get or don't have. And that's a king. Someone who actually like, like, give you a type of love that most people don't get. You know what I mean? This is why I can keep saying, like, I'm going to always say, like, if you look at LeBron James' uh, marriage and his wife, his wife is a great, she, she's the great idea for women and how women should act when it comes to social media and how she put herself out there. Go through her Instagram. Pull it up. Look at it. Take a look. I I wait. You can keep strolling. I still wait. The woman shows her family. She shows a lifestyle of like like quality. She ain't out here with her ass out. She ain't out here with her goodies. She's not doing that. She's keeping that for her husband. She don't have to do that. First she's she's with royalty. Her, her husband is a billionaire. He's worked his ass off 20 years plus when most of these guys haven't even survived. I have a conversation every day about who's the GOAT. Who is the GOAT? We know it's motherfucking Michael Jordan. But LeBron James is number two. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I mean? When you take into consideration how many players have came through the league. You know what I mean? But, pretty high. but look at his status. And look what the status he's bring to his wife. She don't have to do this fuckery. Y'all women want to live in this world and lifestyle? Follow this woman. See how she does it. Find out who's her charity. Build businesses and ideas. But this is why she's successful because I don't think she, she don't have to put herself into a situation where she has to compete. She already got a king. She's already in a happy status with her family. Look at her kids. They're doing well. And that tells me it can work. You know what I mean? If, 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 if women learn how to respect themselves and, and don't put themselves into a situation where they just sexualize by men. Men, men listen, men, if, it's, it's, men are men, right? It's fucked up for some men how they approach women and do things. It's, it's dangerous. Yes. That's understandable. And a woman should be able to choose who she wants to talk to or who she wants to see or date. True. But you're also responsible for who you have sex with. You know what I mean? And, and, and with that said, you know what I'm saying? 
with that said, if if you get with a guy because he has, it seems like everything and it still doesn't work out because it was this casual sex. Or if you fuck with a bum, knowing that he's a bum and that doesn't work out, is it is it your fault or is it the man's fault? But you chose that guy. You you let that guy lay down with you. You got you to be very careful who you choose to fuck with because once you start having babies and families, it, it falls onto the woman to make the best choice, not the men. Some men just, they, they're, they're, they're playing a game just like women are. Women are looking for the best men with resources. Men are looking for the women with less bodies. Yeah, I think if, if both genders were understanding on what is important to the other, it would be a lot easier. I don't think some men know what women value, and I don't think some women know what men value, and so the confusion begins. And 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 this is this is why there's an argument. This is why there's podcasts like Oz and podcasts out there that have two different sides. But if you look at right now, a lot of women are getting on these podcasts, and they're they're not looking like they know what they're talking about. And you have the women who are actually shaming women for speaking up and letting women know you got to be held accountable for your stupidity and how fuckery this stupid shit is. You got girls sitting on podcasts thinking it's okay to be 23 walking around with 100 bodies. Like, the fuck out of here. It's because they're not valuing the opinion of this woman they've never seen before over the opinion of the last song they heard on the radio. They're doing it because their mamas did it. They doing it because no, they doing it because they mama, their mothers done it. Like, come on, man. You can't you can't be like, I was a great mother and 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 your your daughters at not even 23 running around with 50 bodies. Where the fuck is your mother? Like that's that's crazy. That women should be that that take accountability. Men should take accountability when it comes to not being fathers to men. Men should raise men. And the guys who are not raising their sons, you, we shame them every day. Fuck them. Dude, that's not respectable. But shit, man, when you got young girls, 23 fucking 100 plus men, where's your mother? You stupid. That, that's a mother issue and they got daddy issues. It's dangerous. This girl is trying to tell a man what to do who's pulling up in a $400,000 car. And she's probably in her 20s. She is in her 20s, early 20s. And she thinks she has that power. Who the fuck told her that? Who told her she got that power? That's like that's like sitting down with motherfucking Drake and a girl comes into the relationship and say, hey, I'm controlling all your tour dates. You can't go here. You can't go. Nigga, you crazy. Yeah. <laughs> You, you ain't going to ever get that power. Let me, let me explain something, man. Just listen. Listen very quickly. Men don't operate like this. We operate in the reality, not, not fiction. Okay? You are, you're crazy. Fuck out of here. And she walked out that car said, nigga, told that nigga, you ain't going to eat. This nigga. Yeah, see how you eat lunch now. That's crazy. What is it? <laughs> you got enough to buy your whole family. The way she walked off, man. The way she walked off thinking she's a 10. I'm going to tell you something, okay? You're probably like a um, a 6, maybe. 6? You're not even an 8 for sure. But the problem is, is that if you would have just behaved and, and, and took that man out like you said you would have, you know what I mean? It could have been a great opportunity from you because you have to look. He would have liked that you took him out and you paid and you didn't complain and you guys ate, had a good $100 date because it probably would have been $100 no more, right? But the point of it is, is he would have had a good time with you and you would have had a great conversation that he probably would have reached out to you three, four days later and said, hey, I'm coming to scoop you up. I want to take you out to eat. Now he's paying for dinner and the dinner probably be the same or more expensive, but he's paying for your dinner. Your guys have another great conversation, 
And then, boom, there's magic. He hits you up again and said, hey, I want to I want, I want to fly you out real quick. Can you come here? And you're like, yeah, let me just see if I can clear my schedule. But it's it's beneficial. Now you got a guy who's actually fucking with you and, and, and you interacting with him, but it's working. But when you do fuckery, like, where you just say, you know what, fuck this guy with this money, I'm going to do it my way, you lose an opportunity. You could have capitalized on that hustle. Where you stupid. The whole point for you to get with a guy is to your to to attach yourself to his resources. It's not to steal his resources for yourself. It's for you to attach yourself to his resources so you have a guarantee legacy. A legacy for your children so they have a guarantee future. That's the point of chasing the best men that you can get so you can have a legacy and your children will have peace. It don't matter what a man look like. Stop chasing like women crazy. Like, but this chick missed out on the opportunity. She didn't capitalize on a guy that probably would have gave her a lifestyle that she didn't even deserve because she's like a six. But he would have made her an eight for sure. If he would have, if it would have worked out and she didn't act like this, he was she would have been a fucking eight for sure. Cause in six, seven months, a man with money. He's going to make you look like, good Lord, like where this girl come from? You girls see it. These girls see it on Instagram. They used to chill with that chick. She, they she like, Psh, that chick used to smell. That chick was not that pretty. That girl used to get no boys in the club. And then like two years later, you see that girl again, and now she a little bit more pretty. She got she got the the Gucci bag. She, she wearing all the nice shit. You go to her Instagram, she looked 10 times better than you because she got a rich nigga. She got a guy that's taking care of her. So she don't have to like like go out there and kill herself no more. Those are the kind of girls that that win. She but, walked away from him like she had ten other dudes with Lambos in her. That's phone. that's one of but the, the point of it is She walked away quick. She's like, that's oh, cool. Wow. I'll call the other nine. She looked wow. I got a beautiful video sent to me. This is nice. Very beautiful. Wow. I'm gonna say wow. Hold on real quick. She, let me tell you something. She walked away like, <laughs> like she did have 10 other niggas with Lamborghinis. But it doesn't matter because that's the delusion women have that they think they have so many options. The problem is um, you got options that want to fuck. You don't got no options that want to commit. I'm going to say that again. You got a lot of options that want to fuck you, okay? But they don't want to commit to you at all. This is where women get it confused. You can get all them DMs. You can get all them messages. You can get all them texts. You can you get the fuck out of here. Them men ain't trying to fucking commit to you. They just want to fuck you. That's it. See, but the problem is the guy who will commit to you, you forget about him. You, he's somewhere lost in your DMs or your messages. But keep doing it the way you think it works for you. Stop it. Get some help. And 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 I will say this. You do need help. And you need someone who's going to sit down and tell you the truth. And that's what we do here. Cash Money Dreams podcast, we speak the truth in a different life, but it comes out a different way. And... and you you guys got to change the way you think, man. This it, it is what it is. But listen, like and subscribe. Thanks for following. Thanks for listening. We here, man. And and thank you. Follow us on all our platforms. You know what I mean, we on everything right now. So we're gonna keep pushing out videos. Um, and it's gonna get crazier and crazier. So it's your boy Cash. Thank you. Cash Money Dream Podcast. We out. Thank you for watching the Cash Money Dreams Podcast. Like and subscribe. Follow us on every platform. Stay tuned. Every week we drop in a new episode. It's your boy Cash, man.